Okay, so today we're going to talk about um, how, how to improve your ability to check your blind spot. People with really stiff necks, it's one of the things that's really hard for them to do. Uh, one of the reasons is that when you're sitting out in your car, your upper back is kind of, you know, pinned to the chair and it prevents you from rotating and compensating through here. So it can be a really hard thing. I've got chronic neck problems. It's, you know, it's, it's better when I do exercises, but it's when I'm really flared up, that's a really tough thing to do is like check your blind spot. So we're going to give you an exercise today to work on that and just going to work on the rotation. A lot of rotation we're talking about is the upper cervical spine, okay? If you do have a stiff neck, that's fine. If you're having symptoms down your shoulder, up into your upper trap and shoulder, down your arm, weakness, numbness, tingling down your arms, I wouldn't do this one at home yet until you get a, a formal evaluation. Um, this one can be a little bit provocative, might irritate, it might make it worse. And above all, we don't want to make it worse. So remember, it's just central neck pain right here. Difficulty uh, rotating side to side, um, but don't do it if you have any of those other things we talked about um, with this particular stretch, okay? So the stretch you're gonna do is you're gonna take a, uh, a simple uh, pillowcase like that. You need something thin, like you don't want a regular towel. The towel will kind of bunch up for the exercise that I'm gonna show you. So you want a thin towel. You want to take it like so and just kind of double it so you get a really, you get the longest, part, I think the, the hypotenuse, the longest part of the towel like that, like that. Okay, so let's say we're gonna work on uh, rotation, all right? So we're gonna take the towel like so. And this takes a little while to kind of get the, the positioning right. So you want one towel coming down this side. If we're gonna work on left rotation, you're gonna take your left hand, so we're working on left rotation, turning that way, my left rotation. <laughs> you're gonna take your, your left hand across your lower part of your cervical spine, mid-cervical right here. And we're gonna come across and we're gonna turn we're gonna hold it down with our right arm so we're locked down, and we're gonna turn and rotate to left rotation. The goal of this arm is to prevent you from moving your whole body and get, not getting the motion where we want it. The other arm is coming across, kind of a little bit of an angle, turn and rotate, like that, okay? I'm trying to limit how much my trunk is rotating by holding this arm down. The biggest mistake is people try and do it with the right arm to go left, so just remember, you're going left, your left hand is the pole arm, okay? So arm down like so. Make sure you're getting up into the cervical spine here, a little higher, catch yourself there. This should not make things worse. You feel some pressure, but shouldn't make it sharp pain or, or anything worse than what you're experiencing. So turn, and you wanna turn with the rotation. As you get to the end, you're gonna get a little pressure, one, two, and then go back to the starting position. So all the way over to the left, one, two, and starting. I would suggest 10 times and then reassess, you know, let the towel, the pillowcase relax, and then recheck your motion side to side, okay? Um, always make sure you're nice and upright when you check your motion. If you're slightly slumped, your motion will naturally be less, okay? So if you're kind of forward like this, watch this. I'm going to look up right now, okay? Now I'm going to slump and look up. You lose that motion, so it's important when you do the stretch and when you check your motion, you're always in a good alignment. So you want to have your ears over the tip of your shoulder, and you want to have a nice little bit of a, a, a natural curve in the lower back here. Good positioning. Okay. I hope that helps you out. If you enjoyed it, subscribe to our channel. You'll get more good tips on various health issues, uh, or like it, or share it with your friends. But I hope it helped you out, and hopefully you won't be uh, kind of tight with checking your blind spot. Hopefully it gets a little bit better. Okay. Best of luck.